And so you've come obviously from big, bigger projects. What's it like for you working on a web series? Well, the way we shoot it, I mean, we shoot it like a movie. We shoot it like an independent film, so there really isn't any difference. We yeah. shoot it like a film, and, uh, you know, when we do our seasons, we work off of, like, a 40-page script, so, and then we break it up into that one. And, and what actors are involved? Do you have some friends and s stars that a lot of us know? Um, well, from the first year, I mean, you know, Jeff Goldblum, Ed Bailey, Justine Bateman, Tom Arnold, um, and then second season, Sherry Terry and Tim Meadows, and Keanu Reeves, and... I don't know. Or, oh, this year in David Henry, some Kang. I mean, we just uh, keep getting lots and lots of people. Um, so, what do you hope to come out of this? Like, what are your? You know? well, we just want to continue. I mean, we just are having a great time. We have our spinoff show, Sparkles in. Uh, we're working. You have one of the stars of Sparkles in. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? This is like I'm a good. whole experience here in the makeup room. Yeah, but um. It's, you know, we just want to keep keep going with the show and just keep doing more, more episodes. And so just tell people a little a summary of what Easy to Assemble is all about. Um, Easy to Assemble is a character, you know, me that goes to work at Ikea to kind of try to live a normal life, but I find that being an actress, I can't ever let it go. And then my best friend, Justine Bateman, comes, and it's sort of like all the things that I had to deal with, you know, when I was acting, I have to deal with at Ikea. Like the competition, and she's always doing better than me, and I'm just trying to assimilate and be a normal person. I keep finding that that's impossible. And as we got into the, that's how it started. But the storyline again just keeps evolving because I keep evolving. Yeah. And so, coworker of the year is again more about like behind the scenes, and we call it a yellow and a blue collar comedy. It's sort of behind the scenes and my working experience of working at you know, no, Ikea, but it's yeah. not so much Ikea, it's, it's centric, it's got all sorts of different storylines. <laughs> and this episode specifically, what's going on? Um, these, epi these episodes that we're doing for next year, uh, I can't give away some of it, but we're, uh, it involves us going to Sweden. And we got some new co-workers on board. And aside from that, I adore you. You're so funny. He was so funny. I know. He was hilarious. He was sitting right in front of me. Yeah, for most of it. Goodbye. Bye. Well, we'll talk in a second. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm an extra on so on this episode. What That's advice? Right. What advice can you give me? Uh, being um, part of this. Well, I noticed you, you got up and walked in the right time, so okay, that I was appreciate good. That. So it means you're on camera. And uh, you sat behind a famous person. Oh my God, Always I did. good. I did. Smart. That's Check sure. off that list. Yeah. And you wore a bright sweater. I did. I wore kind of like a yeah. snowy, you know, a mountain like yeah. sweater. So you'll definitely be on camera. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. And also, you kind of look like me, so that helps too in the editing room. Awesome. I'll say, cut to the girl that looks kind of like me.